What is going on world? Friday, May 29th. It is currently 7.53 in the morning. Today I'm going to take you guys through a full day of the carnivore diet experiment. So today is actually day 17, sitting here reading a bit of the carnivore code. And if you guys watched some of my other videos recently, I just whipped up some bone broth. So. I tried some last night if you guys saw the last video and today what I'm actually gonna do is have some bone broth like coffee in the morning. So I'm interested to try this, see what it's like to, you know, like I used to drink coffee every day. I, about two black cups of coffee and since then I haven't been having coffee at all. I feel fine in regards to my energy levels and mood without having coffee but it's gonna be nice to have something nice and warm in the morning and if you guys know me, normally I do intermittent fasting. So for instance, yesterday I fasted to like seven o'clock at night. The day before I kinda had a refeed day so I was eating more throughout the day but since about day 12, no day eight, I've been getting back to a nice intermittent fasting routine and schedule and really enjoying the carnivore diet, really feeling like I'm getting adapted and adjusted to it. So today we're going to change things up a little bit. We're going to introduce some bone broth in the morning, see what that is like. And today I'm just going to take you guys through my full day as the Hungarian experiment on day 17 of the carnivore diet. Cheers world. Let's get this day started. I am the Hungarian experiment. Woo, guys, I'm feeling great right now. It's currently 10.51, so it's been a couple hours since I finished that bone broth, but wow, like, it's definitely not like a coffee feeling where you feel like a little bit of like an energy spike, but I just feel really good right now. As I've been mentioning the last few days here with the carnivore diet, I've been feeling really on point. Ever since about, you know, day eight to day 12, I started feeling really good because I felt like I was actually getting adapted to it. But then after like day 12, 13, 14, 15, I was feeling like on another level. Like I was feeling like I was like in high school again, like bouts of energy without like drop and like there's no like ups and downs but just I felt like on another level the last few days and on top of that now with this bone broth holy crap like I'm feeling really good the only thing is that it's definitely like activated my stomach like I definitely feel not like hungry starving like I could keep fasting if I want to well I guess not fasting because I broke my fast with that but it has definitely made me be aware of my stomach I feel my body like my intestines and my stomach move in here so I'm definitely getting hungry now so it is currently as I mentioned 1040 there so this is definitely like messing with my intermittent fasting day which is fine I think I'm gonna experiment with the bone broth in the morning for a few days so I got you know that's gonna be 24 hours today at uh at around six o'clock so I won't have bone broth for tomorrow morning but the next day I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna try to do two or three days in a row of bone broth in the morning but I think I'm gonna push it a little bit more like I'm gonna push it to more like 10 o'clock so that way I'm not having it like right in the morning Cause today I had it like 730 or yeah 730 in the morning I believe but I do have a New York strip loin steak pulled here grass-fed Texas uh, free-range Texas Longhorn cattle from YU Ranch and I bought it at Western Deli and Meats and that's gonna be my first like official meal meal of the day and today as I mentioned I'm gonna be experimenting around so I'm gonna put an egg yolk a raw egg yolk on top once it's done being cooked so I'm gonna fry this up in the next few minutes here and uh, yeah we're going to experiment today really try some new stuff out here and here's bone broth batch 2.0. It's hard to see because it's all uh, it's all like not smoking in there, but like you can see it's really working away. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that today I'm actually going to be on a podcast at noon. So that's kind of why I'm breaking my fast right now. I'm going to eat some food and get a little bit prepared for that. But I'm going to be on the 72 Real Estate Investors podcast. So again, if you guys don't know, I live in this house with Matt McKeever, as well as a bunch of uh, these wholesaling guys. They're like salesmen of real estate, basically. They help connect people who want to sell their homes and the people who want to buy the homes who don't want to put it on the market because sometimes you just never know. like people you know there's death in the family or divorce and they they need to get rid of their homes 
but they don't have the time and ability to renovate it and bring it up to the full standards that the market needs. So that way people can walk through the house and it's a brand new house, all freshly painted. So when people wanna get rid of their homes, they reach out to these kind of guys. And this 7-2 real estate investor got connected with Matt through this whole network that Matt has created with his YouTube channel and Cashflow Tribe and all this kind of stuff. So 7-2 real estate investor has really been going hard on social media. He actually reached out during the 519 pledge. If you guys don't know, we do a not myself, but here in London, Ontario, there's uh, something called 519 Pursuit, and they're here to help combat homelessness in London, Ontario. And once a year, they've started doing a sock drive, the 519 Pledge. And each year, I've been trying to raise more and more socks than the year before. And uh, Mark Smith, the 72 real estate investor, he was actually a big donor to the sock drive. He donated a bunch of socks, and he was a great, uh, a great influencer of it. He helped me get more attention for it. So we're gonna hop on a podcast today. He's been crushing it on social media. Adam Martin, who you guys saw in the last vlog, he was actually on the podcast yesterday. Now they were talking more about real estate. So I'm not sure what we're gonna talk about on there because I'm not really into real estate myself besides like documenting it and doing it for Matt McKeever and his YouTube channel. I wanna get into real estate eventually, but I've been focusing more of my time on media. So. Let's see what we're gonna talk about, but I can't wait for that podcast. That's gonna be at noon today, and before that, I'm gonna get a nice meal in, because the bone broth has definitely activated things down here, and I'm getting hungry. Oh yeah, steak is all done, and let's throw a couple of yolks on here, see how this goes. Interested to try this one. Boom, so there's a yolk, we're gonna throw that on top. Oh, two yolks. Let's try this. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I don't think it'll be much different than just a nice runny egg yolk, but let's see. Let's try this here, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a nice little runny egg yolk. Oh yeah, I could fuck with this. Definitely freak out your friends though. You know, you're at some kind of party or barbecue and you get your nice steak all done and ask for some eggs and they're like, why would you want eggs? Just throw the yolk out on raw. But yeah, this is awesome. All right, I'm all set up here for the podcast, just waiting for him to send me the link. And while I wait, might as well give you guys a little poop update. So day 17, I had a bowel movement today. <laughs> but, so again, if you guys don't like these uh, poopy updates, skip ahead about a minute. But as of right now, I can't remember, I'm, I'm losing track. It's all documented here, so I will know through the documentation. But I believe it's been at least two to three days since I've had a poop again. And... You know, this one was kind of like my day six one where I went without pooping for three days and it was like a long tube. Now it was actually kind of split up a little bit so it was more of a normal poop compared to like my normal balance diet before I started the carnivore. But the last week or two, it's been more on the runny side. Again, not like diarrhea, there's been solids in it, but it was very interesting this time around because it's like back to like the first time I pooped on the carnivore diet. So uh, yeah, had a little bit of bowel movement there. Almost right after I ate those eggs and steak, I started feeling my body get activated and it was like, oh, I better try to poop before this podcast. So <laughs> getting all set up here, ready to go, just waiting to get a link and then we're we're gonna be popping in for, I believe it's about an hour long. So excited for this. Shout out to the 7-2 real estate investor. All right guys, checking in, it is 6.25. We just did a huge video shoot. It was like two and a half to three hours with uh, Josh and Aaron from the Finlay Mortgage Group. Great little video shoot there for Matt McKeever's YouTube channel. Adam's cooking some food and I just put a rib roast in the uh, oven. We're gonna let it cook for about 35 to 40 minutes, 350, then crank it up to do a reverse sear. So 500 degrees, let that sit for another 10, 15 minutes. But until then, I'm gonna go do some deadlifts downstairs. Cause nice. fuck you, Adam. 
out there to 754 and this is the whole rib roast I just ate whatever was left around the bone there but look at that I'm gonna dive into this and probably eat most of this right now so cannot wait yeah feeling really good after my workout there actually feeling like really really good and excited to smash this food down I was feeling a bit of a lull just because I ate that steak and the uh, egg yolks again that was at like 11 and this is the next time I'm having a meal is 8 o'clock so I haven't had a meal now in nine hours and again normally I do intermittent fasting so that bone broth in the morning definitely like made me hungry in the day and then like, really messed up my intermittent fasting schedule so again we got that bone broth going there I'm not gonna have bone broth tomorrow, but the next three days after that I'm gonna have bone broth in the morning which will be like late late morning, early afternoon, probably an hour or two before I plan to break my fast. Or whenever I'm feeling just a natural lull from the day, which I really haven't been feeling with the uh, carnivore diet over the last uh, few days, uh, last five days or so now. So it's been interesting, feel really good. Again, I think a big part of it is because we were just shooting videos for two and a half hours and I wasn't even like yawning or anything today, but I just felt like a lull after it. I felt like, my mood was slightly affected. I was just like, oh, okay, I'm gonna do my workout. Just wanna kind of move on till I get to eat again. But yeah, my energy levels, I don't say we're down because I had a great workout there. So feeling good, feeling great. Gonna smash this down. Already had a little bit, but here we go world. Day 17 of the carnivore diet. So I almost started going at this. I ate a little bit, but this is, was a quarter leg chicken before I ripped it apart. And honestly, after that rib roast, I'm actually feeling hungry right now. Like that rib roast didn't really fill me up all that much. I think it's because of the deadlifts that I just did. Feeling really hungry. So I'm probably actually gonna whip up some eggs and some bacon after I eat this uh, quarter leg chicken. And that'll be it for me. It is currently uh, 9.16 here. But that'll probably how I wrap up the day in regards to eating. Part of the city that like was kind of there before but not 1056 just uh checking in to check out for the evening and bowel movement update so get ready skip ahead about a minute if you guys don't like this because this is going to be an interesting one so i told you guys earlier today that i had like a poop that was very similar to day six where it's long and tubular right now i just actually had like some very runny kind of diarrhea -y poop so that was kind of shitty <laughs> but in general, like, this is the first time I've pooped twice in one day on the carnivore diet, day 17. Again, I thought I was really adapting to this. I thought my bowel movements were gonna start to level out and get even, 
and get on track. And I haven't felt like stuffed up or constipated as uh, you know I've mentioned in a previous live stream, but today was the first day where I was like, damn, I got a second poop coming. And this one was just all like, pshh, pshh. <laughs> and I was like, holy crap, that was crazy. So um, pooped a lot right now. And again, I pooped earlier today, so maybe things are evening out now. I don't know, but yeah, it's uh, from what I've read and everything that things start to even out after about two weeks, and I'm past that two week mark now. So maybe it was because of the raw egg today, the raw egg yolk, um, because after I ate that raw egg yolk, like within 15 minutes, I had to do that first poop. And just had some more eggs and bacon right now after having a chicken and after having that whole rib roast so that definitely like pushed everything that was inside me out or at least how I feel and uh, yeah feel better right now after pooping and I didn't feel like bad before it but it was just interesting that like yeah first time I pooped twice in one day on the carnivore diet after not pooping for three days so hopefully things are evening out in regards to the poop because besides the poop um, and the bowel movements being so infrequent and then having stuff like this like this diet is great I'm loving it so far. So again as I mentioned great energy levels great mood today um, Besides like having the bone broth in the morning and it kind of making me hungrier throughout the day uh, It was a great day. I feel like that bone broth gave me an extra like boost in the morning and throughout like a good chunk of the day but that's gonna be it for me today guys thank you guys so much for watching a full day with the Hungarian experiment on day 17 of the carnivore experiment diet again I'm going for a hundred days and then I'm gonna take three weeks off and do a hundred days of the vegan diet so thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate having you guys on my path as I mentioned in previous videos I've been taking you guys through more full like more several days in a row while today I took you guys through a full day so I want to know what you guys think do you guys like these videos I think once I get to that 20 day mark I'm really just going to update you guys weekly on how things are going because it's fun doing these vlogs and these daily vlogs for you guys but it's also a lot of work and time and effort and energy so I gotta know if you guys actually like these if you guys want to see more uh, again for the vegan diet when I do that for 100 days I'll probably go for the first 20 days hard vlogging and then kind of just give you guys weekly updates on how things are going but I want to know what you guys think do you guys want weekly updates do you guys want daily updates do you guys want two or three days together you've seen a wide range by now if not go check out those videos in the description box below and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you guys so much for watching i am the hungarian experiment I am the Hungarian experiment.